Okay, um, this is one of the lab we, this is one of the uh, uh, test lab we also um, were asked to create an answer file using the Windows scene. And this is under the topic of Windows image creation and customization. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to create, how to create an answer file. Well, this is the one I've created already, which is, um, out, of course, um, when your images, when your answer file is created by default, you're supposed to name it auto on attend. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually delete this. Um, before I actually move forward, um, I actually have a copy of my Windows image and I've already created a catalog file on this drive. But I'll, I'll show you how this file actually works. So I'm going to put this on the desktop and I'm going to show you something when um, when I start customizing the image, then I'm going to bring this file back so that um, it will ease my process. So the first thing I'm going to do is to actually install the Windows deployment tool required to uh, create or set up an answer file. And that tool is the Windows scene. Uh, but um, currently, I've, I don't have the, the, the drive installed in my computer or attached to my, the ISO image attached. I've already done that. Uh, normally, if you wanted to do that, you go to settings on your virtual machine. But remember, your virtual machine should be off. Then you can come to storage. You notice they are grayed out because the machine is currently being in use. So what you're supposed to do is to click on the add CD button and scroll down to your uh, browser where your ADK ISO image is it's, uh, connected or stored. Then you can click on it and you open. And when you boot up your machine, the CD will appear here. So actually, I've done the installation already. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go straight away to set up the answer file. So I'm going to come to the search icon here. And I'm going to type Windows System Manager, which is the Windows SIM. So I'm going to click on that. Now the Windows SIM is going to come up. You'll notice it says cannot find... Um, the, the download image of course this was the previous location I had installed image so I'm going to, I'm just gonna cancel now now you notice um, when you open the Windows scene image manager it comes up with a screen the distribution share the answer file the Windows image and of course your XML validation and configuration test descriptions so what I'm gonna do the first thing you need to do before you can set up an answer file is to actually attach a Windows image now that image is what you're going to be using the answer file to do your installation. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on file, I'm going to click on select an image, and I'm going to go to my desktop, I'm going to go to install image, I'm going to select Windows install.win, I'm going to click open. Now you'll notice that the moment I open it, it's asking us to create a catalog file. Now this file was earlier on created, which is this. This actually takes quite some time. If I click here, so the computer is going to automatically open the image. Now, take note, like I said, I did copy the image to my desktop or actually to my computer system because if you were to go to the CD of your computer and open the installed image on the sources folder, if you try to open the image from here, it's going to prevent you from creating the catalog because this is a read-only file. So what I did was to copy it to my desktop so that it can become um, a read and, um, read and write uh, permission. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to push this now into the folder. Now I'm going to go back and click on File, or Select Image. And you'll notice the moment I click on Install.Win, it's going to automatically appear. That is why, because the catalog file has already been created. So the next thing I need to do is to expand the components I'm going to push this a little bit up and I'm going to push this on the side okay now our, our table was given to us on the different uh, answer files we need to create so before I go uh, before I go about uh, customizing those components I'm going to come to uh, answer file I'm going to click on new answer file then the components are going to come up so the first thing I'm going to be doing is to um, it did the Microsoft Windows installation called PE Neutral. So I'm going to screw down to look for the Windows, Microsoft Windows PE. So I'm going to screw down. We're looking for the Microsoft Windows International Core. Okay, this one is International Core. We 
you're looking for the International Core Windows PE Lecture, and that should be this. I'm going to expand it. We're going to go to Setup Language. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to add to the Windows PE Pass. Now it's already added at the Windows PE Pass. So um, I'm going to come to the settings, the property settings in input language. I was supposed to put en-us and on system local. I'm going to put en-us. On um, the UI language, same thing. Sorry. And on uh, the UI user local, the user local is this. Okay. The next step is to set uh, the next component. It's for the uh, international core Windows P neutral setup language, which is already there, and. On that language, we're supposed to put uh, the UI language is en-us, okay? That is set up already. The next step is to add the Windows Setup Neutral Disk Configuration and Disk. So we're going to screw then and look for the Windows International Core. We're going to look for the Windows International Core Windows P, uh, sorry, uh, Microsoft Windows Setup, sorry. So screw down to where you have Setup. <coughs> so that is Setup. And we're supposed to go to Disk Configuration and Disk. So we're supposed to add the disk to the Windows PE Pass. Okay, the disk, it's added. So the disk ID is 0. And the World P Pass of course, it's empty, so we'll just leave it like that. And um, the next step is to add the, the Windows Disk Modification Partition. So we'll go to, okay, that is already added already. So we just expand the disk. We go to Modify Partition. And on the Modify Partition, just a minute. And expand this. We go to modify partition. Okay, we add modify partition to the Windows PE pass. So we come now to um, on the active, it should be true. On the extended, no extended on the format, it should be NTFS. So on the drop down list, we just select NTFS. And then on the order, on the order, it should be 1, and on the partition ID, it should be 1. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to fill all the details here, especially if that is not given. The next step is to, the next step is to customize the, uh, the metadata for the, for the Windows Setup Neutral Image Install. So we're still on Windows Setup, so we'll go to Image Install. And we go to the we go to the OSI or the OS install image and we click on install from. We expand it as well and we select the metadata and we add it to the Windows PE pass. And in this place um, on the metadata, the key should be slash image. Front slash name and the value should be Windows 8.1 Enterprise Evaluation. Okay, that is done. Okay, I can close this. I don't think I'm still okay. I'm still on Windows setup. Okay. I'm going to just close this. Um, okay, the next thing we need to add is um, user data. So we go to user data. 
and we add all that to the Windows PE pass. So that is the user data. And for the user data to accept error, we'll say true. And full name should be a datum user and the organization should be added up. Okay, and um, what's the next step? The next step is to go to the Windows shell. So we're going to close this. We're done with this. Uh, I'll just close this so that my stuff looks really nice. I'm going to go to Windows shell setup and I'm going to expand that and we are asked to select the out-of-the-box experience. So we're going to add this to the OBE system and on the settings um, Okay, on skip virtual machine, we're supposed to write true. Okay, I've selected it. Okay, we're supposed to select uh, true. Just in case you're having difficulties, whenever you see that it's grayed out, because actually I was selecting on this side, that is why you notice it was grayed out. So I have to come back to the settings here, which it's editable. Then on the user out of the box experience, it's also true. So it's going to skip the user login process. Okay, the next step is to add the, the user account. So we're still on Windows Shell setup. So we're going to the user account. Uh, but the first step is to go to user account. So where's the user account on this side? That's the user account. And we go to local accounts. And on local account, we expand it again for another local account. So that's a local account. Then we add the local account to the, um, we add it to the out of the box experience. Then we'll come in here and the action should be description, should be local admin. The split name should be admin. Group should be administrator. Administrator. And name should be admin. Okay, that is set up. And the last option is to add the password. So we're going to expand this. And we go to pass and we select the password should be P A dollar sign W O R D. Guys, that is all. We're done with creating the answer file. This was exactly what we had we we're asked to do. Now, since this is done, the next step is to save the answer file. So we're gonna to come to file and we're gonna say save answer file. And we're going to go to the desktop, and like I said, we're going to type in the word auto on attend. Sorry. Auto on attend. Just a minute. So it's auto U N T T E N D on attend. You now click save. Remember it's an XML file. So I'm gonna click on save. And of course you can see all the validation sets here as well based on the settings we have created. And of course, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna close this now. And I'm coming to go. I'm gonna to go to my desktop. I click. I'm gonna open. Of course, by default with Windows Internet Explorer, and you'll be able to see all the settings we've created, nice and clean. Guys, that's how to create an answer file. It's as easy as that. Thank you very much.